Hi there, I'm Ellie from Smart Apps for Kids and I'm going to show you a demo of what this app looks like on the inside. When you've seen enough, click this icon at any time during the video to read more about it or to download it from the App Store. Here we go. Welcome to Universal Zoom, all about sizes and distances. Now this is truly an awesome app for science or just for a curious mind. Have you ever tried to explain the size of a giraffe or Mount Everest to a child? It's, it's really difficult to help kids understand the true scale of something they don't commonly see. So this app helps make that difficult concept a little more accessible and it uses stunning photos comparing two items or more in scale. So let's have a look. It looks pretty simple down here and it, you actually discover things by exploring. So I'm going to just pull to the left and as I go to the left, I'm going to smaller creatures. So where shall we go? Where shall we start? Now I'm going to the right. And here we are with the average male human being in the middle. We're getting to big, the big birds and here we go. Look, look where we're going now. Now we're into tall towers and the Statue of Liberty. And now we are heading into mountains. I'm going to keep scrolling through just to show you. We're down the bottom is now showing in kilometers. Can you see that? Because we're working in such vast distances. And now we're heading out into the universe, out into space. Look, there's Earth. We've left Earth. <laughs> That's been left behind. The perspective idea of this is, is incredible. Look, now we're all the way out in the universe. Okay, I could keep going now because now we're out. Look at that. Okay, all right. Up the top here is a cheat way to go back and forth. So let's head back. We are currently out in the observable universe or are we in the Milky Way? I'm not sure. I think we're only in the observable universe, which uh, in the solar system, sorry, which is frightening in its own. But the stars, planets, so let's head back down to, so let's head down to insects. So here we are. So if I were to get, so let me see, we might have a look at the ant. And if I tap the little ant, social insect icon, it gives you a bit of a verbal about it. But I can tap explore and I can say, all right, Mr. Ant, I would like to compare you to say, compare you to the size of a United States one cent coin. One cent coin equals about 2.7 ants. Well, there you go. So ants are pretty small. <laughs> surprise, surprise, surprise. <laughs> what else? Maybe to a cicada. Cicada equals about 5.7 ants. Or to a... Oh, we're going to have quite a few ants for an emperor prep penguin. Emperor penguin equals about 174 ants. Look, can you see the teeny weeny dots <laughs> going up here to, to, to indicate the ants? Now, because we are currently, let's go back, we're currently working in millimeters and I was heading out much bigger. So watch the bottom there, millimeters. So millimeters. Now we're going to head into meters. So if we were to grab... Let's have a look. Let's have a look at some of the big things. So say we have a whale shark, which is... Whale shark, world's largest fish. So let's explore that, the whale shark. And let's see the whale shark compared to the sperm whale. Let's have a look. Sperm whale equals about 1.58 whale sharks. There we go. And what about compared to space shuttle? Space shuttle equals about 4.4 whale sharks. So a space shuttle is pretty big. What about compared to... The Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower equals about 26 whale sharks. It's starting to make those whale sharks look pretty small. Let's go back. And now we're starting to get ridiculous because we're starting to work into kilometers. Let's have a look at Angel, Angel Falls. Angel Falls equals about 77 whale sharks. That's a lot of whale sharks. So let's head back and let's go up here. Let's cheat scroll through. So if we were to go to the planets, this is awesome, look at this. All right, so I'm scrolling, pulling to the right, heading down so we can see Earth. You can see little Earth there. Hi, Earth. GPS satellites orbit. Oh no, hold on. 20,200 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Here we go, I hadn't gone in far enough. 
Earth, there's the Earth. Third planet from the Sun. So let's explore the Earth. So I'm sure a lot of children ask, how big is the Earth compared to the Sun? So if we compare Earth, let's go and find the Sun. We're going to have to scroll along. Here we go. The Sun equals about 109 diameters of Earth. Holy moly. So the Sun is huge compared to the Earth. What about compared to our Moon? Let's go back down and see if it will let us have a look. So Earth to the Moon. Earth equals about 3.7 diameters of Moon. So there we go. All right, let's go back and let's go out. Let's make us real feel really small. Let's go out into the observable universe. All right, even the sound effect makes me feel small. All right, here we go. Let's pull our finger out. The estimated size in the present now, billions of light years. Observable universe at the time the light was emitted. Observable universe at the time the light was emitted. That's okay, we're scrolling in. Look, super clusters. Okay, I'm feeling way too small, so I'm going to go back down. Let's go down to the little, little, little. So let's go down to cells. So we have human hair, which has been microscopically enhanced here, and the world's smallest snowman. But he is, he is a red blood cell. So let's explore the red, a red blood cell. Let's compare it to... A human hair. Human hair equals about 11 erythrocytes. So, I don't know, I, I thought that the red blood cells were probably a bit smaller than that, so that's interesting to know. What else can we compare it to? How about a chromosome? Erythrocyte equals about 1.75 human chromosomes. Hmm, okay. Let's scroll even further down. Are you ready? We are going further down into... We're in nanometers now. The DNA fiber. DNA fiber. Nucleic Let's acid that. double helix. Now, if we head back down here, we're into atoms, single atoms. Let's have a look next to the hydrogen. DNA atom. fiber equals about 48 hydrogen atoms. I can't even. I can't even visualize that. So, this is incredible. Let's just go back to insects, because I can understand insects. Let's grab a honeybee. And we'll see, because this is something that children honey can bee, see. Worker bee type. I know, hold on, worker bee. I'm trying to bring you up. Honey bee, worker bee type. Children can see in everyday life that a honey bee, a honey bee, a honey bee is... Average male human being equals about 117 honey bees. Incredibly much smaller than the average male human being. And yet we are terribly frightened of the honey bee. It's ridiculous really, isn't it? Oh my goodness, if you have got a child, or even if you are fascinated by perspective, or comparison, or science, then you need to have a look inside Universal Zoom. And I can guarantee you are going to spend some time in here investigating Fleet, all the, the different comparisons. Jumper. Let's have a look, compared to the human, human embryo. embryo equals about 19 fleas. Oh. All right. I'm going to have to leave this, otherwise I'm going to be here all night. So you go and have a look at Universal Zoom and do some zooming for yourself. Now don't go without clicking on our Smart Apps for Kids links for great reviews, free apps every single day and the best giveaways.